at the end of the day, what we all want to do is we want to be more like Christ. It's not about how many like our post. It's about, <laughs> it's about us becoming more yeah. like Christ. And I'm thinking yeah. people watching this today, um, I'm hoping that the like a light went off and yeah. going, oh, okay, um, mm -hmm. that we just don't get swept up into it. But I think that the major message of what we've talked about today is you've got to go to this book to find out mm -hmm. Who Christ is like? Yeah. Who is He? What is He like? Stay immersed in the Gospels. Find out who this Jesus is, oh, what He did, how He acted, how He talked, and you're going to find out a whole lot more about Jesus from the four Gospels than you are on any social media Amen. platform. That's all I want to say. Yeah. I've got two teenage daughters, mm. so I'm thinking about the world that they're growing up mm -hmm. in and uh, the world I grew up in. And you know the whole concept of we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, that Jesus gave us his righteousness. Yeah. Therefore, it's an important thing because if, <laughs> if Jesus died to give it to us, yeah. Yeah. it must be a really, really significant thing. Mm -hmm. But the phenomena that I see in our world and in a world that's full of pain and injustice and heartache, and I think coming out of the global pandemic, people had mm. a lot of time on their hands at home. Mm -hmm. It has been amazing to me to see what has happened in the social media world in the last year or so, yeah. in particular, yeah. of sort of people having their own idea of what is righteous, yeah. what is just, yeah. and me forcing that on someone else. And I've had to have a lot of conversations with my kids mm -hmm. about some aspects of the world because everybody's got their own opinion of what's righteous. Yeah. Everyone's got their own opinion of what's just. And then what does it mean to come back to the Word of God? What does it mean to have the righteousness of Christ? What does it mean to stand before God in right standing, yeah. even if you have made mistakes, even if you have failed? Because it seems to me that it's easier to stand before God in right standing than <laughs> it is to stand before social media. The world depending on whatever issue is trendy at this moment, the world is, uh, you know, basically describing this is what will make you righteous if you get caught up in this cause, if you become an activist about this yeah. thing. And it's fascinating to me because we have a whole generation being raised up inadvertently, and I'd be interested because you deal so much with young people, whether they're forming their own form of self-righteousness. So we're not going to the word to go, okay, what, yeah. what is God's standard of righteousness, right. of justice, right. and what does it mean? And it becomes what's someone saying and what's Ooh. the thing that's got Ooh. traction right now. And you are literally shamed if you are not posting, saying the right thing in the right way to the right amount of people. That's right. What is going on in the world? I don't, what, how does this... What right. does this mean for the spiritual formation of young people and their own righteousness? Absolutely. We have to be very clear, I think, for young people that aren't sure. Mm -hmm. We, as Christ followers, don't want to follow culture. We want to follow Christ. Yes. Yeah. But also, we don't want to just be Christ followers who are just following Christians. We also yes. want to be Christ followers right. who are following Christ. Yes. Yes. Because the people you are looking up to, you don't want to be discipled through social media. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to be discipled through Instagram. Yeah. You want to know Jesus for yourself and what yeah. his word says. And I think the younger generation, perhaps no one told them. I, I have met individuals that say, well, I follow these leaders on Instagram mm -hmm. and that's who tell me how to live. Well, who's discipling you off social media, mm -hmm. yeah. showing you how right. to live? How do you know how to apply the scriptures or that Instagram meme to your everyday life mm -hmm. when storms come, yep. when problems come, yes. when temptations come? So I think what I am hoping for this next generation, for this generation, for the now generation, for me generation, <laughs> is that we are a generation that is not just fixated on celebrity, yes. um, yeah. people that do something entertaining or amazing for a moment, but that we are truly seeking out mm -hmm. heroes, people who have lived lives of character over time. Yeah. Right. Show me how to live. Yeah. Show me how to have a healthy marriage. Show me how to have a faithful marriage, mm -hmm. a real relationship with God, and to find people who can disciple you yeah. for real yeah. based on who you know Jesus is. Yeah. A Christ follower who knows Christ because it follows up with the Christ you're reading about in your Bible, yeah. that you know Jesus for real. That's what I'm hoping for this generation. Don't just follow what other Christians are posting. Don't just follow what culture is posting. Yeah. Follow what Christ says and the way Christ said to speak. There is a way to be Jesus, to be like Jesus on social media, but you'd have to know him and you'd have to know his word to know how. How to seek righteousness by living righteously yeah. because we have a generation that 
in some areas doesn't know the difference between unrighteousness and righteousness because unrighteousness is celebrated as righteousness. Mm -hmm. You know, like this is a, mm -hmm. a righteous anger or this is a, I can righteously go against what the Bible says. So the mm. Bible says, you know, don't cause division, don't gossip, don't slander, but this is righteous gossip. Mm. And this is <laughs> righteous slander. Yeah. And this is righteous <laughs> division. And, this, and I'm like, like, since when did doing something contrary to the Word of God become mm -hmm. righteousness? Mm. But if we don't know what the Word of God says, Says, right. we will take what culture says and they say, yeah. today we've decided these things are righteous. These <laughs> lifestyles are righteous. Oh. These uh, patterns of behaviour are righteous. Yes. These attitudes are righteous. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, that's not what the scripture says. But if you don't know what the scripture says and you just yeah. like that person, yeah. you're going to say, but I think what they're saying is right. Mm. And so I actually think it's a spiritual formation issue. Like this mm -hmm. could be a real challenge mm -hmm. for a generation on when you call unrighteousness righteousness, when yeah. you unrighteously go about pursuing righteousness, I don't think when Jesus said seek righteousness, he meant unrighteously go and seek righteousness. Like, <laughs> wow. you know, there's wow. just something that seems so out of control in our mm -hmm. culture in this, in this particular mm -hmm. moment, mm -hmm. yeah. which of course then lends itself to that there is an enemy that wants yeah. to cause divisiveness and confusion. He doesn't want people to fulfill their destiny because no, if people right. actually really discover the true righteousness of God and the freedom that it brings, yeah. the yes. liberty that it brings, the purpose that it brings, um, because a lot of these other anger and the divisiveness and the confusion, it's not bringing freedom. People are more no. anxious than ever. People yeah. are more depressed than ever. Mm -hmm. People are more angry than mm -hmm. ever. Uh, you know, purposes are not being fulfilled. I mean, the only one that is winning is the enemy. Mm -hmm. So there is a, a benefit of seeking the mm -hmm. kingdom of God yes. and his righteousness yeah. first. Yep. And he says, I'll give you all the other stuff. That's okay. But um, I don't know how how much we're seeking righteousness or whether there are times we confuse mm -hmm. seeking my way or my vindication mm -hmm. as seeking righteousness. Yeah. And then really what has crept in is just self-righteousness yeah. and self-judgment. Yeah. And I'm wondering if right now on the earth there's a whole lot of self-judgment and mm -hmm. self-righteousness mm -hmm. kind of happening. Yeah. I agree. The Bible says fix your eyes on Jesus. Yeah. yeah. And you fix your eyes on Jesus through his word and by Amen. serving other people yeah. and going and particularly the poor and the marginalised and mm -hmm. people that mm -hmm. um, require it. I'm just, we, we've lost something so fundamental that makes us more self-righteous yeah. because when you're just sort of sitting in the basement scrolling because there's <laughs> nothing else going on. Yeah. You start to have an opinion about things you yeah. don't need to be having an opinion <laughs> about. You, you've got, it's not, you know, the Bible says, lest ye be judged. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. like there's a, we're passing judgments and opinions mm -hmm. on things that right. there is no way we know all the story about anything. Like, you only ever get a part of a story. And the Bible says, you know, a man's story always seems right yeah. until you hit the other side. <laughs> right. And I'm like, right. it is um, the amount of time we're wasting. The yeah. amount of energy we're wasting. Yeah. And the dullness. And it's yeah. like, who we are. And then it's the time like we're, we're putting a bondage, a yoke. I always think, and I'm looking at so many things. And of course, I run one of the largest anti human trafficking organizations in mm. the world. So, of yeah. course, I'm all about social justice. I'm all about yeah. Yeah. doing all of that. But there is no way that I believe that uh, you can work your way by doing all these good works, no matter how many mm -hmm. social justice right. works or causes mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. good deeds, mm -hmm. um, that you can become any more righteous or earn your way right. to the favour of God. Yeah. And I'm wondering, mm -hmm. as I'm watching people get swept up in whatever yeah. the latest cause is or mm -hmm. the latest, that, you know, we had the Reformation where we replaced, remember it was then that you were saved by your good works. You had to take mm -hmm. your indulgences to the priest. You mm -hmm. had to do, the, or the, you know, say 10 right. Hail Marys, do whatever you had to do, mm -hmm. but you had to work your way to heaven. I, I come from a Greek Orthodox background. It was I a lot like that. that. <laughs> you work, work, work yeah. to be good enough. Mm -hmm. Then we had the Reformation. So then we discovered you were saved by grace through faith um, mm -hmm. in Christ and it was it. It was grace alone. That's mm -hmm. it. Faith in Christ alone mm -hmm. and it was God's grace that mm -hmm. saved you. And then it's like we're now trying to put another yoke on people and go, okay, now, according to my list of self-righteous things today, <laughs> if you are not doing this, posting this, marching here, advocating mm. there, doing this, you're not really a Christian. If you uh, do not, you know, vote this way, think this way. So, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, in a strange oh, way, Lord, our, our self-righteousness mm -hmm, mm -hmm. puts a yoke on mm -hmm, other people. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like I'm now saying to you, the righteousness of Christ is not enough no. for you to have right standing before God. And for you now to have right standing before God, you've got to vote like me, you've got to think like me, you've yeah. got to tweet like me, um, you know, you've got to be Absolutely. in my cause. And it's another form of bondage. It's yeah, actually right. demonic. I, I mean, I would go so strong as to use that word. At the end of the day, what we all want to do is we want to be more like Christ 
It's not about how many like our post. It's about, <laughs> it's about us becoming more yeah. like Christ. And I'm thinking yeah. people watching this today, um, I'm hoping that the like a light went off and yeah. going, yeah. oh, okay, um, mm -hmm. that we just don't get swept up into it. But I think that the major message of what we've talked about today is you've got to go to this book to find out yeah who Christ is like, yeah. who is he, mm -hmm. what is he like, stay immersed in the Gospels, find out who this Jesus oh, is, what he did, how he acted, how he talked, and you're going to find out a whole lot more about Jesus from the four Gospels than you are on any social media Amen. platform. That's all I want to yeah. say. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing Gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.